Hello, today I would like to show you my uh, recent project. I've decided that Enrico T198 is going to be my Zello daily driver network radio. And because of this device using a Kenwood type plug, I have to find a nice speaker mic for it. My first go-to was actually that one, a very crazy cheap Chinese speaker mic, but it has uh, two problems. First of all, the output audio and the microphone, they sound terrible if you speak directly to the Enrico T198, you've got a crystal clear audio and from this speaker mic it was like garbage. It was like muffled and completely not crisp. I, I was absolutely not happy with that. I decided to pay more and buy a more expensive unit and this is what arrived. And we are going to make a separate video because I'm pretty sure un under that under that black thing there will be a Motorola logo because this is a fake one. They go even to the to the to the extent of putting here a label. So this is a fake. And to be honest, I'm not. Uh, big fan of having a fake Motorola thing and I was looking for something else so what I could do and I did that. This is a genuine Motorola speaker microphone with a K type plug. How I did it, it's really sketchy and I'm going to show you everything because I join two things. I grab a genuine Motorola speaker mic that is exactly like this and absolutely do not worry. I didn't break a good one. I've got a one with a broken plug and that was the point so it was like a throwaway thing so i'm not saying that go buy a genuine brand new mic and destroy it i've had it laying around if you can purchase a broken one of of some auction site then go for it so i've got exactly the, the same one broken and i open it and i start swapping parts and ended up with this and this is a genuine shell with genuine microphone genuine speaker mic the only thing that i change is of course a cable but it fit perfectly this is from that cheap generic one and that part that you can see the the cheap Chinese one it's made so good that all those parts are fitting the genuine one. See? You can mount them on the genuine one. That's absolutely crazy. And it what it was ended up to be an extremely good thing. So let's first let me first show you how it's working because it's give a crazy good audio in compared to the Chinese one. So let me check. O two O P Z O three Echo. Okay, I'm on Echo. One, two, three, four, five. Radio check. Four, five, radio check. 
Testing audio, testing audio, one, two, three, four, five. Testing audio, testing audio, one, two, three, four, five. And just to give you a point of reference, we are going to try this one. And you are going to clearly hear the, the difference. One, two, three, four, five, radio check. Radio check. Testing, 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 radio check. Testing, 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 radio check. So as you can hear, the audio quality is uh, pretty bad. Let's see what I had to do in order to fit it into into genuine shell. And it was a uh, really crazy project I spent too much time on this but the end result absolutely justify it so here you can see this is a genuine part with the rubber seal but just to, to tell you that the Chinese one copy also got a shell so it is a pretty pretty decent stuff and here is the cable this is not the genuine cable but i added the rubber gasket here so it make a pretty good seal let me pull the board because that's where the all magic is happening am i disconnected Yes, I am. And let's leave the board. And this is the board from the old speaker mic. And this is the genuine Motorola one. The not genuine one had a, had a jack for a listen only. So I had to little bit cut the board in couple places, but that was like extremely tiny operation. And of course I had to unsolder the, so if you want to follow my project, let me show you this in the close up. After desoldering the 3.5 millimeter jack, I had to put a link between those two pins. There is a resistor leg that is shortening just like the, the jack was doing. And I connected the, the speaker to the speaker port just like it was. And I reused the flex. The genuine flex was also here but I didn't have enough room and I soldered the microphone to the two pins not the last one before and that's all that's all, all what I did and we can put it back as you can hear the PTT is nicely clicking let me take a look. That is, I hope, a genuine one because it's a really good copy. As you can see, you can reuse so many parts. It's just absolutely crazy. Go like this. That's the best tool I ever purchased. Let's make sure that is still working. Let me make sure I'm on the echo. O two O P Z O three echo. One two three four five radio check. One two three four five radio check. And this is how you can do it. This is how you can join the cheap AliExpress 
crap with a genuine parts and you got a extremely good mix very high quality mix that make a perfect match if you of course like the motorola things so thank you very much for watching i hope that inspired you see you next time and bye bye